Hello, I am Luos and in this guide tutorial for the Impact Effects Pack, I'm going to show you how to make a new texture for the Impact Sparks and the Flash Collection. First of though, I'd like to apologize in advance if you can hear my cats or dogs or any other noise, as well as me sometimes having to reconfigure my screens to get the right menu to show up. Alright, so this is one of the Impact Sparks and this is one of the Flashes and they both use the same kind of texture setup. I'm going to show you in 3ds Max how they, how the meshes, what the meshes look like. And as you can see, they are using vertex colors, the red, the blue, and the green. I already set them up, obviously, and in a later tutorial, I'll explain a bit more on how to create these meshes. But for now, let's make a texture. Like I said, it, they all consist out of two textures, and they all use separate vertex colors. So for the basic flash, we have this. It's a, just black and white textures, and the other one has these kind of more gradient shapes and it's quite easy to make something like this so i'm going to use very simple things like a font or whatever just to show you how it's done actually it might just be as easy if i just use a regular shape for this let's go with that uh, i need to set them to white of course and there and to be quite lazy in this tutorial i'm gonna just duplicate this three times with diff slightly different shapes so this is the first one now i'm gonna duplicate the background two times ctrl j and duplicate the shape two more times as well ctrl j and move the background colors to each okay first let's change the shape let's make it a bit wider and a bit lower there i'm gonna merge these down ctrl e and hide it for now. This one I'm gonna make a little bit taller and thinner. There, merge them down with Ctrl E. And the bottom shape I can just merge down. All right, uh, and now I'm gonna duplicate each of them two more times. There, and I'm gonna apply quite a few motion, uh, Gaussian blurs to them. Blur, Gaussian blur. And they can be quite a high value, uh, somewhere around the 50, 40 area in this case. And then use the subtract there. I'm going to use do that a few more times. So on the next layer, actually I'm going to show you Ctrl F to do the blur again. And set it to subtract there. And again for this one and then subtract now the next thing you need to do is set the opacity a little bit lower about 80 to 90 you can differentiate a little bit doesn't matter but try to keep each layer the same kind of opacity so i'm just going to copy this and hide that one set the opacity to 88 as well and the same for this one there. I'm going to merge the two top ones of each get each shape. So Ctrl E. Do the same thing here. Ctrl E. And again for these. Ctrl E. And I'm going to hide these real quick. I'm going to Ctrl A, Ctrl X them. So select all and cut. So I need to make sure that set up properly all right ctrl a ctrl x select the bottom one go to channels and paste this in the blue channel you won't see anything but that's because there are some layers overlapping we're now going to select this shape ctrl a ctrl x select the bottom background again and paste that one in the green channel there so now we have this and if you can look at this texture, it's the same kind of thing. I'm going to save this one out. So file, save as. And I'm just going to go to PNG. And call it, I think that's the last one, impact 4. And I do use an underscore M to tell me that it's just a regular mask. Okay, I'm going to save. All right, and I'm going to do the same thing for the other three. 
I'm going to enable that one. Merge these down because I'm lazy. And there. I'm going to control A, control X, the top one. Select the bottom one again and paste it in the blue channel. I'm going to select this shape. Control A, control X. Get to the bottom one again and paste this one in the green channel. And that's it. I'm going to save that one as well. Save as ENG in my case. Or you can use DGA as well if you want to. And as you can see, I'm using T for translucent. Not really going to use the acid translucent texture, but it just helps me remember which texture is which. I'm going to save. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the impacts. I'm going to go to textures, impact, impact effects, and I'm going to import them. Open both of them. Make sure that the settings are correct. The texture should be effects, and everything else should be fine. So you can set these to clamp if you want to. There. I'm going to do the same thing with the other texture. Make sure it's effects and that both are clamped. Not cinematic. Effect. All right. Now let's make a material instance. Go to materials. Uh, impact spark and let's create a new material instance so i'm gonna duplicate this impact 04 and in here i can select the two new textures so the translucent should be 4t there and this one should be regular 4m and now you have a new texture set up I already explained in a few previous tutorials on how to apply these to the particle systems. I'm going to do one real quick. And then I'm going to call it quits. Alright, uh, particle system. Impact collection. We do the full screen. Actually, I need to set something real quick. In the dev developer's tools. There's a widget reflector that makes the screen a little bit bigger. That way it's easier for you people to read everything that's going on. Alright. So, uh, t -t -t give me that thing there. I'm gonna move all the way to the right. And there. I'm just gonna duplicate this one time with Control Shift W, or in your case, right mouse click emitter, duplicate and share emitter. I'm gonna hold down Control on the mesh and drag it there. Yes. And in the required node, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to select a new impact effect, number 4. And that will look like this. I need a new mesh because this one is quite ugly. And that's a headline, apologies. Um, impact. Then should work. And I have something that looks like this. I'm going to slow it down a bit so you can see what's going on. And now you have a new spark effect. All right, there's also another thing, of course, that's the flash effects. And they use a different kind of material. So I'm going to go for that one. I'm going to right mouse click, say create material. This is in my case, but you can also duplicate it and call it flash 2. <clears throat> also make sure that's in the material instance, MI material instance. There we go. Double click on it and select the new textures in here as well. So that's going to be 4T and 4M. There we go. I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to go to the park collection. Go all the way to the last one. I'm going to right mouse click, duplicate and share. Make sure that the mesh data is unique. Yes. And replace the texture. I'm going to select flash 4, material instance flash, so I can just look for flash and look for flash 2 there. Now if I separate this one, 
It's a thin mesh, so let's select another one that's a bit thicker. Uh, let's see. The flash. There should be a bigger, thicker one. Try that one. Now yeah, that's a bit better. There are quite a few ones, so it can be a bit hard to find the ones that you really like and want to use. Ah, there's one. And as you can see, you have a new kind of flash going on. So that's it. And before I go, keep in mind that I already have LODs enabled for your, the package. And in some cases, the LODs might mess up. When you look at the required here, see material instance VFX flash 02. When I go to another LOD, click and drag to the right, go to required, you see that the flash is wrong, the wrong material. The right mouse click on the required node and do share from higher. And do this for all the LODs. So share from higher. Now everything is correct again. And you should do the same thing for the impact spark collection, of course. So go to the next LOD, right mouse click on it, left mouse click on it and just drag it a little bit to the right. Go to the required node, right mouse click, and share from higher. I'm also going to do it with the mesh data in this case, because I replaced that one as well. And do it another time for LOD02. Right mouse click, share from higher, required, right mouse click, share from higher. That way I'm sure that everything works correctly. Alright, that's all for the impact and the flash effects. And I need to make a few more tutorials, so maybe see you later. Take care.